Assalamualaikum and hi kids. Unit 10, Technology. So this is the last topic in Science Year 2 Syllabus. Okay, these are the learning standards uh, for our today's lesson. Choose a structure to build from the building set and identify the building components according to the illustrated manual. So actually, in this topic, you are going to learn about how to build a model from a building set, okay, how to assemble a model based on the illustrated manual, and also how to disassemble the building set and store it neatly. Okay, dalam topik ni awak akan belajar bagaimana untuk membina model berdasarkan manual yang diberi dan kemudian untuk buka semula dan simpan set binaan dengan kemas. So, let's start. Okay, you may refer your textbook page 117. Okay, let us look at the conversation between these uh, three friends. Kanang, how do you build this model? I use the Gemilang building set. Let me show you how to build it. Wow, this model is so amazing. So Kanang want to build a model of aeroplane from this building set. Have you ever played with a building set? What type of models have you built? My choice of building set. Okay, what is building set? A building set is a set of components that is used to build several types of models and it includes an illustrated manual. Okay. You may buy this at the uh, Mr. DIY shop, okay, or maybe at the mall. Okay, I'm sure, okay. Some of you have uh, this uh, building set at home. Okay, mungkin ada setengah dari kamu yang ada uh, set binaan ini di rumah. Okay, set binaan ialah uh, komponen yang digunakan untuk membina beberapa jenis model. Okay, for example here, you look at this uh, Gemilang building set, okay, and you can build a few models from this building set, okay. So, look at this picture. Uh, you can build helicopter, aeroplane, crane, lorry, okay, model of human, tortoise, bird, horse, tree, sailing boat, Deer, sheep, okay, and maybe other model also that are uh, in this uh, picture, in this illustrated manual. Okay, usually when you buy the building set, it also include the illustrated manual inside. Okay, biasanya bila awak beli set binaan, dia akan ada gambar model di depan. Okay, ataupun ada... Um, Gambar rajah untuk menghasilkan sesuatu model. Okay, different building sets allow you to build different models. From this building set, you can choose the model you want to build. Okay, so this is uh, another building set. Okay, canggih building set. So you may look at the um, illustrated manual given in the building set. Okay, when you buy the building set at the, uh, maybe at the Mr. DIY shop also, they include the illustrated manual. So, you can refer the picture to build the model. Should we build a model of helicopter? What do we need to do now? We must assemble the model based on the illustrated manual. So, this illustrated manual actually helps you 
to build the model correctly okay with the correct step and with the correct component also what are the components that you need to build the model and then let let us uh, identify the components in the illustrated manual okay a manual is a guide to help you to assemble a model from a building site correctly you can identify the required building components building site model can be assembled easily by referring to the illustrated manual so the manual given is to help you to build the model, model correctly okay this is uh, the examples of manual okay this is from the Gemilang building set and maybe when you buy other types of building set also it gives you the picture okay the manual to build the model okay kalau awak beli set jenis yang lain pun dia akan berikan uh, manual okay gambar rajah untuk awak bina model okay selalunya ada kertas yang disertakan di dalam building set yang kita beli Okay, the illustrated manual. Okay, the illustrated manual inside the building set that we buy. This is to help us to build the model. Okay, for example, this is a model of a helicopter. Okay, to build this model, okay, we need few cubes. Okay. And also prism okay you look at the picture so these are the cubes and the prism here and also cylinder okay the cylinder at the center what are the components needed to build a model of a helicopter Okay, so just now you look at the components and these are the steps. Okay, these are the steps to build the helicopter. To build the model of helicopter. So, if you want to build the model of the helicopter using the Gemilang building set, you can refer this manual. This is the first step and after that what you need to do. Okay, the third step, fourth step and until... The model is complete. Okay, now let's do this science activity book page 77 and 78. Page 77, as usual, you need to write the date here. Unit 10 technology. So let us read the instruction first. What you need to do. My choice of model. Cut and paste the pictures of models provided correctly. Take the model of your choice. Model of an aeroplane. Model of a robot. Model of a house. And model of a helicopter. So you need to cut and paste the pictures. Okay, awak perlu gunting dan lekatkan gambar di kolom yang betul. And then take the model of your choice. Okay, which one is your favorite? So you take the answer. Okay, the example. Okay, you cut the pictures and then you paste here model of an aeroplane. And then which one do you like? Okay, you need to take the model of your choice. And then page 78, Components and Illustrated Manual. Based on the illustrated manual, take the components needed to build the model below. State the number of 
components. So this is the model of a horse. So you look at this model and then you identify the components needed and you write the number of components that are used to build this model of a horse. Okay, for example, this a uh, small cube. Okay, do we need this? Okay, you need to refer this model here. Okay, yes, we use this. So you tick here. And then you must count the number of components used. Okay, awak kena kira bilangan ini. Okay, bilangan ini yang digunakan untuk menghasilkan model ni. So, these components are located here at the lake actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, for each uh, lake, we use two components here. So, this horse uh, has four legs. So, we need eight. Okay, so you write your answer. And then for this one, do we need this? Okay, look at the model. Do we need this? Okay, adakah kita gunakan bentuk ini? Kalau kita gunakan, you must take. Kalau tidak, tak perlu. Okay, untuk model ni, awak tengok dalam gambar ni. Okay, tak ada... So, number of components, zero. And then this one. Okay, this is uh, located here actually. Okay, you can see here. And also here. Okay, di sini dan juga di sini untuk menggabungkan dua cubes ni. So, one, two, three and four. Okay, do we need this? Yes. Number of number of components four. And then next, okay, this uh, rectangle here. Okay, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Sebelah sana yang kita tak nampak seven, eight, and one more here nine. Okay. Untuk kat bawah ni saja pun dah ada 8. Okay, semua ni dah ada 8 dan tambah satu di sini 9. So, we need this number of components 9. And then, this one. Okay, this is located at the legs also. And head. Okay, kaki dan juga kepala dia. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 and 6. And then this uh, cube. Here. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, time. So, one more thing that you need to do, build a model using building set that you have at home and then take pictures and upload in Google Classroom. Okay, awak perlu bina satu model menggunakan set binaan yang awak ada di rumah, okay, Lego yang awak ada di rumah dan kemudian ambil gambar dan upload di Google Classroom. Okay, whatever model that you like, okay, maybe... You want to build a house. Maybe you want to build a horse, a giraffe. Okay, I show you a few examples. Okay, maybe you want to build a robot. A giraffe, maybe a house, maybe a car. Okay, any models that you like. And don't forget to upload in the Google Classroom. So that's all. Thank you.